What's going on everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, make sure you share the video, share the video, share the video, share the video. Listen, a lot of things I want to talk about tonight because I know and I believe tomorrow I may not be able to do all this because we have um, the, the heat show tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do this tonight. This is what I, I really want to touch on this tonight because tomorrow I may not get a chance to do this because I know we're going to cover a lot of stuff. So make sure y'all share the video, share the video, share the video, share the video, okay? Um, let me make this make sense for the folks in the back that may not even understand what I'm saying or what's going on. Or, you know, Demario, why are you always talking about this? Why are you always bringing this up? Because it is, honestly, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's, a, it's a must that we discuss these things and bring this stuff up because it's in, it's in the church. Church of God in Christ has 12 million plus people. Am I correct? Hey, what's going on? 12 million plus people. And we are still having all these problems. Church of God in Christ has 12 million plus people. General board members. General board members. That can't even get. Two, three thousand people on their lives. How in the world. How in the world are we doing anything to captivate the world, the country, motivating anybody to do anything, and you can't even grab a crowd? Now, I've, been, I've really been re really trying to hold off on this because I'm just like, you know, okay, at the end of the day, let me just try to wait. But I know I'm probably not going to get a chance to do this tomorrow. So you mean to tell me we have a church, 12 million plus people. Hey, y'all, what's going on? Make sure y'all share the live. Come on in the room. 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 You mean to tell me we have packed out, packed out churches? Well, seemingly packed out churches. And you cannot... Get as many people on your live that you say that you have in your church. Somebody lying somewhere. Somebody's lying somewhere. 12 million people in the church. 12 million people in the church. And y'all can't even get a million on the live. We're doing general board members. We're doing general board members meetings and, and, and conferences and Zooms and lives and all this type of stuff like that. And y'all can't. The Catholic Church can get 100,000 people on their live. My lips look chapped. Uh, uh oh, uh, I'm gonna go somewhere in a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna go somewhere in a minute. The Catholic Church can get 100,000 people on their live when they're doing mass, masses, when, they're, when the Pope is talking to the people. The Pope can get 100,000 people on. What you mean to tell me? Our presiding bishop can't even get four, five. We can't even get 10,000 people on the live. Huh? Y'all make this make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. We can't even get, we can't even get 10,000 people when the bishop talking. 
When the bishop is talking, you can't even get 10,000 people on the line when the bishop, when the national bishop, Bishop Charles Edward Blair, you can't even get 10,000 people on. I have watched national funerals, hear me, where some of our church's greats have died. We can't even get 10,000 people on the line. It is a miracle if you can get a thousand folks on. I, myself, <laughs> I, myself, I've went way over a thousand and I'm just king. I'm just king. It is amazing to me that we can go and, and, and save saints, angst, and friends will go and watch a versus between Ashanti and Keisha Cole, and you can get a million folks on a versus, but you can't get a million folks. Now, you can't even get 1%. 1%. Let me, let me just, let me, let me just, because I don't want people to think I'm fussing. I am, but I'm not. I don't want people to think that I'm, I'm here beating up on the church or anything. We have some concerns. You know the re okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish that statement. A national meeting. Hear me? A national meeting. Nothing. You ain't missed nothing yet. A national meeting where we all come together, right? A national meeting where we all come together and celebrate and say, Ooh, praise God. We got. 50,000 people at the dome and we're going live on service. Okay, I'm going to need you to be super deep and try to understand the logic of what I'm saying right here. We get 30,000 people at the dome. We can't even get 1% of the 12 million people that's in the church. We can't even get 1% of the 12 million people that's in it. That's 120,000 people. We can't even get 1%, uh, Mother Gail. We can't get 1%. That's a problem. So I'm going to tell you why. Since, since, since the folks ain't living a nickel worth dog food, dog meat, that's what you said, right? That's what you said. Since the people ain't living, okay, how about this? The reason, see, people will always say, I'm, I'm Church of God in Christ. I'll always say I'm Church of God in Christ because it's truth. I'm, I'm, that's, I was born in this church, period. The reason why people do not want to be involved or even listen to any of this stuff or any of this stuff, baby, half the, half the old folks and died off. So that's, let's, let's get another excuse. Another excuse. I'm tired of people need daggone excuses. You, the people are tired. The people are tired. One, they're tired of being lied to. They're, they're tired of being taken advantage of. And before y'all jump and say, well, what do you want us to do? Oh, there's a long list of things to do. They're tired. We can't even get a good meeting together without there being an argument, right? We can't even get a good meeting together without there being an argument. Let's, let's go down the line because we're going to talk about some of this tomorrow. Let's go down the line. We have a college that we don't lose, that we don't use. We have a college that has never and has yet to been accredited. We have a, a, a headquarters church that nobody is using. Office buildings in Memphis that nobody is using. So then the people say, where's the money going? Where's the money going? 
thanks of the most high, where's the money going? We're paying our reports. We're paying our dues. We're giving this. We're giving that. We're doing all this. What are we paying for? What are we paying for? Marquise, we have All Saints College. We have, we have had so much money to come through this church. We could have built a dome for the saints 10 times over. Oh, no. No, no, Fred. Y'all know how. Y'all, listen. Let me tell you something. Fred, no, this. <laughs> if y'all really know how, what about me and me, Bishop Porter? This ain't a pitch for Bishop. No, sir. This is my thing. We have set back for eons and ain't said nothing because we kept trusting our leadership. Mother Gail said, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. That's my question. What happened to Sank Center? What happened to the city that Bishop uh, that Bishop Mason wanted to build for the church for the saints? What happened to the city? Do you not know that Bishop Mason was trying to build something for the saints to come and for it to be their own city so they can have their own stuff, own stores, own barbershops, own banks? We don't have that. We don't have that. And I'm not, I'm not pitching for him, but if you go down the record of the bishops, if you go down the record of the bishops, who really has a lot in this church? Who really has a lot in this church? What bishop that you know that really has a lot in this church? Bishop Daniels. He's the richest bishop in this church, but ain't nobody going to pick him because he's not married. Real talk, real talk. Nobody gonna pick him because he's not married. That 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 little that that little part right there disqualifies him right there. The man has pre K K through twelve middle school college um, educational system right there. Educational system right there. Oh wait a minute, he has his own bank. ATMs, all this other stuff like that. Boom, innovative. Wow, okay. Apartment complexes, senior citizen homes, all this other stuff like that. Owning businesses and, and, and part ownership of, all, of, of companies and, 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 and what else that thing was? Uh, sports teams. The Saints don't want him because he ain't married. His sister's a millionaire. His brother's a lawyer. They got stuff. What do the rest of these bishops have? Nothing. L nothing. His sister and him are part owners of teams. They don't, they don't want that. They'd rather have somebody who's married, right? You'd rather have... So, Gail, <laughs> so, Gail, that, that's another question. The people want to know, the peoples, the peoples want to know, Janine. The peoples, the peoples want to know, I don't know why, but the peoples want to know, is Bishop Daniels into the women's? Is? Do y'all want... And mama, this ain't at you. This ain't at you, okay? Do y'all want to shout at the bishop? Do y'all want to shout at the bishop? I don't know. But does that disqualify him? Does that disqualify him from, from being able to be capable from being able to be capable of running He has become successful and he's not married. Period. 
Hey, Terrence, he's been successful and he's not been mad. All of these folks got some scandals. All of them got scandals. All of them got scandals. All of them do. But let's go back to this. While we are fighting, while we are fighting over things that don't even matter, Fred, here's my thought with Bishop Daniels. I'm going to say this. Here's my thought with Bishop Daniels. Give him the church. Let him run it for four years. Get the church back on track spiritually and financially. And if y'all want to, you can just hand it over to Drew Shear. Hand it to Drew Shear. Y'all want, I, I like Bishop. I like Drew. I like Drew. Hand it to Drew. Y'all want Drew that bad. Y'all want him that bad. Let, let Bishop Daniels become Bishop. Get this church back in order spiritually and financially. Four years, we can go ahead and give it. We can go ahead and give it to Drew. We can let it be Clark Central. Period. Let it be Clark Central. And Bishop Daniels can still sit on the board as an advisor. But let's get back to this. When he said, what happened to Macklin? I don't, I don't think people want Macklin because of, of a few reasons. Ain't really that bad. Ain't really that bad. You know what I'm saying? But they just, you know, the, 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 they ain't that bad. I'd say that right there. Hey, to you. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Mama Gail, we have 12 million people in this church. You can't get 1%. <laughs> Fred said goodbye. You cannot get 1% of the 12 million people to support a national meeting. I know I'm talking. 12 million people. Hey, Nathaniel. 12 million people in this church. And you can't get 1% to support a national meeting. Why? Because the people have lost their trust. Now, again, y'all don't want to talk to me. So you're going to listen to me. Somebody said, what's the stats on the generational of the generations participating? Marquis, what you ask? This generation, I know my generation, my generation is so concerned with titles and positions that we come on with lives and carrying on and we're trying to kiss behind. We're so concerned. We're so concerned. We're so concerned with looking the part. We're so concerned with, you know, being accepted. Ain't nobody out of everything that I just said. What about your salvation? What about your soul? Has anybody asked about those things? Huh? Has anybody, is anybody concerned about the souls, the well-being of the saints, the angst and the friends? You said they never. <laughs> oh, boy. The folks. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It would be amazing if they put me on in a position. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because we are a church, a well-known church, Nathaniel. 
Miss Sheila, we are a well-known church and we can't even get the support of all the people that's in this church. We are right up under the Catholic church and the cat. Now, again, they say we got 12 million people. We the biggest black Christendom church out here, right? That's what's said. But you can't get 1% of the people to come and support you. The Catholic church, which we emulate from, huh? The Catholic church in which we emulate, in which we have taken these robes and this whole processionals and all this other foolishness they're carrying on, they got educational programs. They got educational programs. They do got policies and procedures that they do enforce. They do at least help their 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 their, their, par their parishioners. They they do at least go it out and go and help the churches. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Our churches are falling apart. Because our bishops are getting fat and they got robes, $12,000 robes and, and rings and, and cars and stuff. Don't work. Don't work. Don't do nothing. Y'all make it make sense. Y'all make it make sense. The Catholic church in which we wear they robes, we look just like them. We walking down there with staffs and carrying on and stuff. They do got financial programs. They do have educational programs. They are constantly having their bishops reinforce what's going on. At least the saints in the Catholic church know what's going on within the church. Ain't nothing a secret. Huh? Ain't nothing a secret. But you got 12 million people. And right now, right now, right now, right now, now, right now, we go on a live with our national bishop. Bishop Charles Edward Blake, and we can't even get a hundred thousand, a hundred and twenty thousand people on the live. You know why? The folks don't care. The folks don't care. You ain't listened to them in all this time. What's the purpose of us getting on the live and even thinking about you right now? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Pope John Paul, whatever his name is, the third, fifth, second, I don't know. That man can't talk, can't preach, can't do nothing. But I promise you, the people love the Pope because the Pope does stuff for the people. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> the Pope does stuff for the people. The churches help the people. I, let me tell you something. I don't care. I don't care about your altar boys. I don't care about the popes out here messing with the little boys and can I listen here. They 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 handle all of that. Cause it's scandal everywhere. And apparently the people don't care. But what I'm talking about is, what I'm talking about is that they have things in place. And the people still love the Pope. The people still love the Pope of the church, the Bishop of the church. We don't even care. We don't. You just said it. I didn't. We don't even care for our presiding Bishop like that. I listen. Hold off and talk to y'all. 
A am I am I am I talking? We don't even care for our bishop like that. And, and then this is just, just, just real. It is just real. We don't even care for our bishop like that. Like, 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 let's talk, let's talk for real. We don't even care for our bishop like that. And it's not even that he can't preach. We don't feel the support of our leader. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. We don't even feel the support of our leader. This is the reason why we don't care for our presiding bishop. Oh, he gets up and, oh, we love the God, peoples of God, and oh, hallelujah. <coughs> <coughs> we don't feel your support. When we need help, we can't get help from you. We cannot even get help from the church. Y'all make this make sense. We can't even get help from the church. We got, and, 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 and to top it off, ho, ho, to top it off, to top it off, to top it off, the national church, the national church, the national church, is getting millions of PPP money. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all think y'all, y'all, I just, I do. The National Church is getting millions in PPP money. And y'all still can't get no, oh, oh, y'all churches are, are dwindling because y'all po broke and ugly. Right? No, 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 no. How they gonna go after me? How? How? Because again, we want to talk about where do we go from here when all we're doing is lying to the people. The government is giving billions of dollars away. And when was the last time your jurisdictional bishop had a meeting with y'all and said, y'all, let's get this money so we can make our churches stay up and, and keep running and carrying on? When was the last time? Y'all make that make sense. Make that make sense. When was the last time that since this pandemic has been going on, since this pandemic has been going on, when was the last time that Charles Edward Blake, Charles Edward Blake had a meeting with all of the bishops Elders and superintendents and pastors. Huh? When was the last time? And said, you all, we, I, let me, let me help you all. Let's do a seminar so we can put together some things so that I can help you all so that you all can get money to pay your buildings off, to purchase land, to do it. When, when was the, we don't need, we, listen, listen, listen. When was y'all full-time ministry? Y'all full-time ministry, but you can't, you can't, you can't. Okay. This the this the reason why. This the re. Oh, this ain't nothing but strawberries. This ain't nothing but strawberries. Hey, what's going on, Boston? When was the last time? But, but what's funny is. <sighs> Fred, you said, but it's my understanding the national church is closed. Wrong. They still working. They still working. They still working. Meanwhile, y'all, some of y'all bishops ran y'all self down there, want to kiss on Donald Trump again on. And y'all still ain't got nothing. 
Meanwhile, you got churches out here that are opening and, and that, that are doing a good work, but they can't get the support of their leader. They can't get the support of their jurisdictional bishop, let alone their national bishop. Y'all make that make sense. Make that make sense. So then, so then my question is this. My question is this. <laughs> my question is this. When y'all get to see what you gonna do? When you get to see what you going to do, what you going to do when you get to see? Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all don't like me talking like this. When you get to see, when you become your general board member, when you become a presiding bishop, what you going to do? What you, we don't want to hear you preach. We want to see action. Oh, Mario, you won't hear drinking. No, baby, this is nothing but ice and strawberries and vitamin C and some ginger. Bishop Porter, I know you're going through right now because your, your mama and died and Karen, and I, my, my, my condolences, everybody send your love to Bishop Porter. But you become, you become the presiding bishop. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because the truth of the matter is, half these folks that's in this church right now will leave this church and go join a, a Matthew Stevenson and still be Church of God in Christ. And they will still come to the meetings and won't give offerings. Hey, Justin, <laughs> I would bring you on, but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm not going to do this with you today. Period. What you going to do? Bishop Shear? You get to church, although it's going to turn into Clark Central. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to captivate the people that have left? Not to mention the people that are still here. What are you going to do? Oh, I know he's going to cut up. I know Justin going to cut up. Because me and him talked the other day. <laughs> what you going to do? What you going to do? I don't want to hear the, you made my way. Do, 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 do. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. What is going to make the people love the church again? <laughs> Tell you, you know your brother. You know your brother. Did I cuss? Did I use some profanity? God bless you. Have a seat. Come on now. <clears throat> y'all come on. Y'all make sure y'all share the live. Make sure y'all share the live. And tag your bishops in here. Tell them the king, Ella King is talking. What are you going to do to make the, the people love the church again? What are you going to do? I want to know. And I need you to put your actions where your mouth is. Did I say that right? Because I'll put your mouth where your No, yeah, that's right. Put your actions where your mouth is. No. Yeah, that's that's how I want to say it. I think that's how I want to say it. How are you going to make the people come back again? How, how, how are you going to make the 12 million people become more supportive? 1897. 1897. 
And you mean to tell me that in, in since 1897, we still are having problems with supporting the, the preachers of the preachers of the preachers? Y'all, I'm just saying. Y'all make it make sense. Mama, get out. Girl, who, Lord. I Bishop Mac. I, I, here, here's my thing about Bishop Macklin. There's a generation of people. There's a generation of people. Listen, listen. I, I want I want to say something to the, to the, the glam father. I, I'm gonna say something to that. Here's my thing, and this has always been the problem. This has always been the problem. This has always been the problem. You have churches, and you have good preachers, but nobody is concerned about the people enough, right? Nobody is concerned about the people enough. Mama Gail, got you. Mama Gail, we'll talk offline with you. Got you, Mama. Nobody is concerned about the people enough. And what we've done to the preachers is we've trained them to be more concerned with becoming bishops, superintendents, having offices so they can get a stipend and a check. Meanwhile, their only concern is how much money your church raise. How much money you got? Y'all driving Mercedes, Lexuses, and, and expensive cars. And your people, and, 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 and oh, oh, I got, I got one, I got one. Y'all keep inviting in these jack leg preachers to keep the people going in circles so they don't focus on what you're doing. They don't focus on what you're doing. You keep inviting in these jack leg preachers so that they can. Oh, I, I got a word from the Lord. You keep inviting all these jag leg preachers to keep the people confused so they can keep giving tithes and offerings and things and stuff like that. Meanwhile, y'all not even concerned. Y'all not even concerned about the people. Your folks are constantly getting lied to. And you're not concerned. The only thing that you're concerned about is how much money you got coming in. And your people are perishing because they dumb and they're stupid. And you want to say I'm being messy, right? You want to say I'm being messy. You want to say I'm being messy. But the saints have all, baby, let me tell you something. Y'all been saying for so long, touch not mine in order to do no proper no harm. Touch not mine in order to do my proper no harm. Over, over it. Y'all put in the comments, hashtag over it. Hashtag over it. Hashtag over it. Hashtag over it. Y'all talk back to me in the comments. Hashtag over it. Y'all want to keep saying touch, touch not mine and not. Baby, these, these are not God's anointed. They are placeholders. They are placeholders. I'm going to say it one more time for y'all in the back. Back three to three seats back there by the exit door. They are placeholders. Y'all ain't doing nothing for the people. 
and you are more concerned with your titles and your positions. You misquote scriptures and you use you use this thing right here. You use this thing right here to manipulate the people, to make them feel bad. And then you sit here with your sob stories and cry like y'all, I have done more for people and I'm not even nobody's pastor. I'm an internet bishop. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shanda la 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 ba, kanda la 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 ba, wakanda forever. I have helped more people via the internet than y'all have done in the 60 years that y'all have been pastoring. Why? Because I'm concerned about the people. I'm concerned about the people. Y'all stand up in your congregational meetings and can't all, God bless you. God bless you. We need to, we, we ain't met our, but we ain't cousin. We ain't met our budget yet. God bless you. Thanks, thanks. We, thanks. Thanks. We ain't met our budget yet. We ain't, we ain't met our budget. We, we ain't met our budget yet. We need, we need five more thousand dollars. We ain't, we ain't met our budget. Come on, Slinks. I'm a wretch in my pocket, and I'm a gone get a get get another hundred dollars. Come on, Slinks. Come on, pastors. Come on, reach down in your bill folds, and we gonna go ahead and raise this offering. That that y'all come on now, y'all. Come on, Slinks. Come on, Slinks. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Chris, you know we from Memphis. You know how that know how I go. Seriously. We're more concerned and we have just not mm mm. You said what's the internet budget? <laughs> Come on, Sykes, we need to. <laughs> Michael, Michael, here you go, Sykes. We need to raise a thousand dollars on this internet call right now. I need y'all to go and hit that cash up. Praise God. We need to raise a thousand dollars. Who gonna start the offering off tonight? <laughs> Who gonna start the offering off tonight? We need, we need a hundred dollars to go and start this up. Y'all, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's go back to the word of God. Jesus said, Peter, if you don't feed my sheep, you have no part of me. He said, Peter, feed my sheep. Ain't that what he said? Peter, feed my sheep. Protect my sheep. Cover my sheep. We didn't forget about that scripture, right? We didn't forget about that scripture. We didn't forget about as a shepherd. Huh? You didn't forget about. You didn't forget about as a shepherd. It's your job. It's your job to make sure that your household is covered and protected. It's your job as the king of your house to make sure that your people are well protected and are doing well. In a whole pandemic, how many of you preachers are making sure that your saints are doing well? How many of you preachers, you don't like what I'm saying, that's fine. How many of you preachers have sat down with your members and your congregants and said, listen, let's, let's, let's come up with ways to get this money for the saints because I don't want my people losing their homes. Fred, now what's wrong with what I'm saying? How many of y'all preachers have sat down with your congregation and said, come on, saints, I, I need y'all to come on together and let's let's go and get these businesses together so y'all can get money. Uh, sister, sister Bobby Joe, how much you and your husband need? All right, y'all need a hundred thousand. All right, let's do something. How about we get a budget of two hundred thousand dollars 
per household in this church. Huh? How about, how about, how about, how about, Mama Gail, how about we get a $100,000 grant or, or some type of PPP something for every household in this church. And I and we will make sure that you all, and we're going to give it to you, but we make sure that you all budget it so that you do not lack. How many people doing that? How many people doing that? Because it's not enough. It's not enough. Somebody just called my name. It's not enough to just get money. Because y'all niggas is so retarded. As soon as y'all get a quarter, you want to go buy some red bottoms. Freak a red, bless a red bottom. That's something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But get a red bottom. How about sustaining? How about taking care of your household? taking care of your households so that your children can eat. Because my main concern is making sure that my house got lights, water, electricity, and carrying on. That me and my folks, me and mine, and, no, and, and everybody else eat. That's, that should be the concern. Not, not, not a new, not a new Ellen, Ellen Tracy. Not a new Gucci bag, not a new red bottom, not a new St. John, not a new hat. We can do all that later. But right now, right now, we need to make sure that we have so that we can survive. Have y'all preachers done that? Have y'all preachers done that? Have your bishops of your jurisdiction sat on which and had that conversation? You take care of the church and God going to take care of you. Are you serious? Are you serious? You, I, I'm going to take care of you and God going to take care of me. See, that's where you get cussed out and I go out there and slash your ties. We, 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 we give you all this good money. And we now we got to wait on God. Are you see? Are you? We give you all our tithes and offerings and and building fund money, which ain't you ain't put a doorknob on the church yet. We give you all this money. Oh, y'all said where the organ at? Hold on. <laughs> y'all make it make sense. We give you all this tithe and offering money, and now we gotta wait on God to take care of us. No sir. No sir. No 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 no. No, 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 no. If I, if I give you, make sure I'm in the right key, huh? If I take care of you, it is your responsibility as the king of that household to make sure that your subjects are taken care of. That's the way it works. It's your responsibility. Yeah, it is. It's your responsibility as the leader of the church to make sure that the people are taken. Am, right, am I in the right key? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Hey. I'm in the right key. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Seriously. 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 Y'all make that make sense to me. What I'm saying is not wrong. What I'm saying is not wrong. <laughs> Justin, I'm 
I really want to bring you on, but I know you're going to cut up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Memphis, Tennessee is the Mecca. Y'all don't like this. Is the Mecca of the church of God in Christ. And yet, the church of God in Christ is lacking great substance. I don't know about you. Mm -mm. I don't know about y'all. But the church of God in Christ as a whole, the church of God in Christ as a whole, as it relates to Memphis, Charlie, <laughs> the church of God in Christ as a whole, in Memphis, baby, first of all, let's start with, why did we sell to Cheska? Um, thanks. Let's start off, why did we sell the bookstore? Y'all make that make sense to me. I'm saying, why are we sell? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Why did we sell the Lorraine Hotel? Mm. Why are we selling all this property that the church once owned? Now we're trying to come back to the city. And we trying to act like ain't nothing happened. We have nothing. We ain't got nothing. Now. We selling off, we selling up everything. The city offered the, 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 the pyramid to the church of God in Christ. Do you think we bought it? No. We didn't get the we didn't get the pyramid. They still got the raggedy behind Cook Conven Convention Center there. The FedEx form can't really hold everybody, but it's there. Uh, Y'all done sold off the Lorraine building, the Lorraine Hotel, where Martin Luther King got shot. That could have been revenue right there, historic revenue. Oh, but wait a minute. Not only could have been historic revenue, but y'all could have put Kojic Sanks in there to work the building. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all could have invested half the money. Uh-huh. You could have invested half some of that money into the formerly Chiska Hotel that is now an apartment complex. You could have invested money into that building and put Sanks to work. Y'all, it makes, it's, it's logical. It's logical sense. It's logical sense. We are selling up properties. And the Saints got questions. What, what, what are we coming back to? What, what are we coming back to? We have architects in this grand old church. C come on now. We got architects in this church. We got... Wait a minute, ain't, ain't, um, niece, ain't, oh, y'all, I'm going, okay, bring it in, Jazz, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Isn't Linwood Dillard an architect? Didn't he go to school for architecture? Come on, somebody. Baby, we could have redesigned these buildings. We, we could have redesigned these buildings and put the sinks to work. Honey, we really could have had a, uh, a uh, 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 Sank City, Sank Central, Kojic Central. We could have been owning up half the properties and things in Memphis. We could have, we could have built Sanks. We could have built hotels. 
Y'all don't like me. You don't, you don't have to like me. We could have built hotels in Memphis. We could have built what we had in St. Louis for the 10 years. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay. Oh, you said it takes capital. Oh, Justin, you said it takes capital. Can you want to come on the live? I, 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 I want you to play the devil's advocate on this here live. Yes. We could have taken them out of all the time that we have been in St. Louis. Out of all the time that we've been in St. Louis and the Saints really wanted to come back to Memphis, we could have taken money. We could have taken out loans. The Church of God in Christ could have taken out a budgeted loan to build up. We could have set. We could have sat down with the mayor and the governor of, of Memphis, of Tennessee, actually. And talked about what the Church of God in Christ has done for the city of Memphis. Huh? We could have redid the city. Robert, you know, am, am I talking right now? We could have taken money and we could have negotiated a deal. Bishop Porter to my, uh, the city of Memphis has given us a million dollars. What is a million dollars? What is a million dollars? Bishop Porter, you spent almost half a million dollars on that Maybach you had bought. Come on here now. Come on here, saints, ace, and friends. We could have built eight. Okay, oh Lord. We, we could have built a dome downtown twice the size of the FedEx Forum. It could have been Kojic Central, Kojic Dome, whatever you want to call it. It could have been something. And we could have built hotels around it. Because here's the other problem. Here's the other problem. What about the crime rate? Oh, ain't nobody going to talk about that. What about the crime rate in Memphis? Y'all saying it's going to be walking downtown with your furs? Because you know Memphis crime is Y'all saying it's going to be walking downtown? With your birds. Okay, you have to turn that other one off. Yeah. Now, you and I have had this conversation already. The Saints going to be walking downtown with the birds on? I did lock my doors when I got downtown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm... I'm, I'm <sighs> So y'all gonna be walking down the street with your red bottoms on? <clears throat> okay, I can take off my coronavirus uh, shield. Y'all mm. make it make y'all make it make sense. Make it make sense. What's your thoughts? Cause you've been talking mess in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, it's funny that we talk about Memphis. I just got back from Memphis. Like, literally just pulled into the driveway from Memphis. Uh, I got almost, uh, beat up by the security guard from the Church of God in Christ. <clears throat> I pulled up on the, because a friend, I took a friend with me. And I'm like, because my friend wanted to know what is so special about Memphis and the Church of God in Christ, because that's all he hears about. It's so Memphis. I took, over, I took him over to Mason Temple. Well, as soon as I made a right-hand turn onto the parking lot, a young lady, it looked like a boy, because I surely said, I'm sorry, sir. And she goes, I'm a ma'am. I said, Ooh, sorry. <laughs> but beeped her little horn and stopped me. And she told me, oh, you can show them from down there and, told, and directed me to the street. I said, oh, okay. Well, excuse me. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I feel like we are at a place of of new beginnings. Um, and I think we have no, and I get the, the mistakes that the church has made. Um, I'm going to stand on the side of, I, I am going to play devil's advocate with you now. That's what you said in the comments now. Now, you said where are we going to get this funds from? But I, I believe that that actually might have been the the move that Bishop Blake made when he sold off those properties because even in the photos that you posted before, let's just be real. You know, let's just, the elephant in the room, the Church of God in Christ has lost a lot of people. And we've lost a lot of um, membership. Um, I remember my first year going to convocation with my pastor, Daryl Randolph, shout out to him. Um, right um it was huge and then the look come to the last year i went they tried to be slick and move the stage up and you got mad at me when i said somebody <laughs> <laughs> they tried to be slick and move the stage up um but okay. to sell off that fifty dollars on platinum seating and they can't even sit on the floor mm. you didn't hear that for me though um <laughs> um as i yeah you just you yeah um the only way to make the revenue back that i believe the church actually has lost is to sell those properties i mean what where else are we gonna get it we've milked the saints already we milked the saints um to to we've milked them too much i mean I've, I've watched the trash cans walk out of the convocation. Um, we've milked them too much. So the only thing I think that Bishop Blake could do as a, on a business standpoint is to sell those properties. Now, for us to go back to Memphis, I'm, it's, I, I think it's stupid. I, I think it's, 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 it's genius on behalf of Memphis because yes, they gave us a million dollars, but we poured more in, than a million dollars into the city of Memphis. Um, that part. I think Memphis owed me a new axle from all the potholes that I just hit today. Um, uh, <laughs> but I, I digress. It, it's, it, we're going backwards instead of forwards. Um, I heard a rumor that we could have made it into a traveling uh, convocation where, you know, it could be and go to different cities. I, this is just different ideas that I heard that could have been better than coming here because I'm not staying in Arkansas and I'm not staying in Mississippi. And I'm not going to drive my car so that it can get vandalized downtown by the hood rats. I'm just going to be real. Um, we got a million and one church of God in Christ that's in the city of Memphis and the city has, it, it, I, I, I don't know how this is going to work. It, there's only one hotel that's downtown. I think. No, I think it's, I think it's three. It's three hotels. You okay, got the well, Sheridan. Uh -huh. You got the Peabody. Okay. Um, I think you got the holiday Inn. I think it's about four. It's about four downtown. Uh, it, well, four hotels ain't gonna hold all the Saints. When the I mean, Saints went to St. Louis, there were about was it thirty hotels? It was a lot more. You had more of a plethora of hotels to stay in. Now, somebody said Memphis gave us the Church of God in Christ $1 million. Yeah, they gave us $1 million. Robert Enoch, Bishop Porter is bragging about $1 million. Do you not know that any one of them bishops can write a check for $1 million? Please explain to me what is $1 million going to do for an entire church. We, let, let me, okay, so this, let's, let's just be, let's just call a spade a spade. 
we're coming back to Memphis for what? One, the crime rate in Memphis is so horrible. But let's, let's deal with that. The crime rate in Memphis is so horrible. And you know the Saints like to wear furs, and you know these new girls, them girls and the girls, love to wear red bottoms and, and all type of fake Gucci, Gucci, and Louie. Y'all gonna get robbed, shot up, and beat the first. Now, I'm not, I'm not encouraging folks not to go, okay? What I'm saying is that when we were in St. Louis, you went, I went, Robert, you went, all the rest of y'all niggas that's on this live, y'all went too. When we was in St. Louis, the hotels were right there. There was enough police that was in that area. I didn't have nothing to worry about. I walked by myself. But the thing is, is what are we coming back to? We have no place. Oh, we, oh, so, so, oh, oh, I got it. It's not for y'all to be concerned about the well-being of the saints as long as y'all got a hotel room. Oh, oh, shut your mouth. Hey, you know the Bishop's Hotel is going to be right across from the convention center. It is not for <laughs> y'all to be concerned with the well-being uh -huh. of the saints. But as long as y'all got a hotel room, y'all are fine. As long as, as the sheds, they're going to bring their trunks. Bishop Daniel's going to drive, have his cars delivered there. And everybody going to be there protected and everything. Oh, He ain't bringing that Maybach down there. Oh, he! Oh, it's coming! Oh, it's coming! It's gonna need bulletproof it. it it's coming! <laughs> oh, absolutely! It is not for them to. It is not for the board, the bishops, or anything to be concerned about us. As long as they're protected, y'all, y'all find out where y'all need to stay at for yourself. Find out where y'all need to stay at. Period. Bishop Porter's bragging about a million dollars. Sir, what is a million dollars? I I don't I'm not knocking on anyone's name and I ain't go, you know, yeah, I know a million dollars ain't a lot of money, but it, and I, but then on the other hand, once again, I gotta play devil's advocate. What what was what was St. Louis giving us? But but tickets on cars and, and boots on cars. And um, the the hotels was going up every single year, and it, it, my first year I was able to pay seventy five dollars a night, and now it was one hundred and fifty dollars a night. So I, I, I think I, the I, first year hotels, I think the lowest it was, was like eighty nine dollars. Right. Yeah. It was somewhere around there. So it was still feasible for us to be able to 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 come and and worship, but then at one hundred and fifty dollars a night. And that's just the, the least of it. And, you know, we monopolized it to the point to where you couldn't call the hotel and you couldn't use anything that you, you had going otherwise because we had already booked everything and you had to go through the Kojic website. So I, I do understand. And y'all marked up everything from the Kojic website. Jive, go to bed. <laughs> And that back um, money. Um, so I mean, but still, they were raping the Saints, but they do they were doing the same thing that Memphis was doing years ago. So I do understand coming back to Memphis will assist building Memphis back up. I, I will say that that, that I said they're building a hotel with twelve hundred rooms. Where is that at? Where? Where? Uh, she said West Memphis, Arkansas is six miles from downtown. But who wants to, Ooh. are you going to walk six miles? You're going to be rolling. Who's going to walk across the bridge? you going to walk walk across the bridge? Girl, I got you family members over there. I got family members in West Memphis. I'm not going to Do you know how long it's going to take me to drive from West Memphis, Arkansas, and then find a parking spot with all these black hoochie cooch niggas that's going to be walking around right out the house? M mother, I, I love you. Dear. I love you, mother. You, mother. That's the I don't thing know about who that. you are, but I'm not walking. This is not. I'm not going from Selma. Uh, I, I'm not Martin Luther King. 
and I'm not walking across the Pettus Bridge. Um, I know it's Black History Month, God bless you. Um, but I'm not walking across the, the Pettus Bridge. I'm just not. Um, and I shouldn't have to drive across the Pettus Bridge my, anyway to find a parking spot. I'm not going to, you know, I, I want to walk. That was a response was for she. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Y'all make that make sense. Like, I, 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 the real, the real, the real part about it is this, and I, I've been saying this since we went to St. Louis, and people think I'm being petty when I'm saying this, but the reality is this. Since we've been in St. Louis, not only have we imparted enough money into St. Louis, but there has been enough money raised that we could have started a project of building some stuff for us in our in our holy land we could have been working with banks oh wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait, wait. i know you're gonna say something about this with the fact that i love bishop daniels with the fact that bishop daniels is a businessman and has a credit union on his campus. And, and has a credit union. I, I love my pastor. On the campus. Y you and I Val and your brothers them could have worked out something financially and we could have gotten sponsors. Oh, <laughs> we could have got sponsors to help build convention centers and things for the church of God in Christ. And those people could have been a part of that and that could have been something with a whole lot of contributors in there. Jobs, why, why, why are you not on the, uh, why, where's your flyer at, Doc? Where's your flyer? Why are you not running? Because? For, why are you not running? You should be running for a trustee to be a trustee of the church. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let, let, can I, you, want me to, you want me to tune this up for you real quick? Because Lord. if you're going to put me to work, <laughs> It must come with check. See, I am see, 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 working for free. But, but wait a minute, so I, but if we all have that mindset, but that and that's the reason ain't nothing done. No, 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 no. I have been saying this to key people that are in position for years. Because ain't nobody coming, ain't no boy, ain't nobody finna come back. Ain't, ain't nobody finna come back. First of all, you're not finna take me and use me and then get my ideas and then you act like you did. I, I know you're gonna pay me and put me in position because first of all, y'all need some help. But 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 we but we we doing this for the glory of the Lord. Now, oh, John. I'm about to click you off here right now. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> oh, Listen, doing this for the, the, the Bible says in business, be men. Oh, all of that shit the all of my Just like a Negro. Just like a Negro. What a quick me up, but I say something you don't like. Just like a Negro. What? Hold on. What this dude said, that's why you got to keep, absolutely. This is why I got to keep a secular job and I got to keep working. These Negroes don't want to pay me. They want me to exactly. give them all the ideas and they just do it for free. No. Meanwhile, they will pay the white folks. I mean, oof. Yeah, well. well hello. Because the, the Catholic Church just bought the, uh, from what I understand, the Catholic Church bought the, uh, remember the, um, I, I was reading on the internet, they bought that, the, that, that big old church that's in California, the Glass Cathedral. Oh, that one man's church. The Catholic Church bought that that church are you serious how much was the church <clears throat> how much was the church just I, I, I don't remember exactly what the price tag on it but it was a pretty penny. i know it was a pretty penny the, the catholic church bought that but it was going in foreclosure so you you know yeah the <laughs> crystal
the Crystal Cathedral was going into foreclosure. Child, this boy said a lot of people are giving their talents for the event. Let me tell you something. First of all, I am so tired of folks want to tell you to work for the glory of the Lord. First of all, these bills are not going to get paid for the glory of the Lord. These lights are not going to stay on for the glory of the Lord. This car payment ain't going to get paid for the glory of the Lord. No. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Somebody said, well, Mario, why don't you work for Bishop Porter? First of all, Bishop Porter knows me. Bishop Porter knows the work that I do and what I can do. I don't work for free. Them hoes in Memphis don't get paid for free, and I'm not working for free. Okay, now wait a minute. Hold on. Let me stop you. Now, Mr. Fred, I, I understand you saying keep your secular job, but other people have lives as well. I work full time as a manager at a store, and I, I still work in, uh, I have work right now. I, I'm in quarantine, um, but for the past year, have not been going back to church. I've been worshiping at home. Um, but as I said, um, as I was saying, uh, y'all not going to work me to death. You know, it, I said it gets you paid know, $25 as a musician a Sunday. Who gets paid $25? They you need to quit. Good. You need to quit, bro. <laughs> you need to quit. $25 a son? That's not even a good meal at Ruth Chris. High five. That's you you can't even get in the roof quest for twenty five dollars. You ain't now. never lied. <laughs> uh, Jay you Alexander's you 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 can't get you can't get a really really cheap burger at twenty at Jay Alexander's off the kids menu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and and and, and Mr. Friend, I thank God that you do all that, and and you know. Let me tell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. No, no, no. I, I, let me get this one. Let me get this one. But let me ask you a question. When you die, bro, yes, the funeral is only going to feed twenty five people. Um, the first, which is your family, and you you possibly have to pay to use the facilities. So I understand that you're doing all of this tutoring. I think, thank you so much uh, that you're doing all of this. But, it, you know, all of us, ain't go, we're not going to do it for free. Everyone ain't going to do everything for free. Um, if I'm watching my pastor with a Benz pull up in the parking lot and I'm driving a Toyota Camry, there's a problem. Uh, there, there's a problem. And then you ex look at me and expect me to do something for free. No, I want to drive a Benz just like you. That's the problem with a lot of these churches is these pastors are, are, are they, they, they're not pouring into their saints the same amount that they pour into themselves. And, and that, and I, I get, I get you, 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 you took that as literal. That was not a literal response. That was me saying it, it's going to cost. He People said, don't do things for free. Those said, programs, those programs. Are you talking about Jimmy trials. Williams? You said Jimmy Williams have never charged y'all to do a funeral? Here's the thing. Ain't there some problems down there in South Florida? I did now. This I do know. No, in the jurisdiction, there's some finish. problems down there in South Florida, especially when it concerns money. Now, what y'all going to stop doing is stop giving these preachers a pass. Stop giving these folks a, pre a pass and call a spade a spade. Y'all, these folks are getting rich. Yes, and Jimmy Williams, does he do drive a Mercedes. But that's, that's beside the point. My thing is this. The people are constantly giving. And what we do, we treat this big old church we treat this big, oh, he said that's old news. I have nothing else to say. We treat this national church like a storefront ministry. That's what we do. We treat this national church, this August body, like a storefront ministry. We sit up out here, act like we pension pennies, and we pocket in all the money. Y'all make that make sense. 
Baby, we have had enough money rolled through this church that we could have taken, we, we could have made sure we built our own stuff. Now, if y'all don't want to understand that, then that's a problem. We have all of these members, and yet it's still, we're still begging for money. We don't even we don't even support our local churches, and yet it's still our local churches are begging. We still acting like we're in the 1940s, teaching these young people that, oh, don't have sex. They gonna have sex. We teaching like we back from the yonder days in Carano. But I, 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 I get what you're saying, but you still have to teach Bible though. How you gonna teach Bible when you don't live Bible? Did I say something foreign? How you gonna teach Bible when you don't live Bible? I ain't talking to you. I'm saying, period. How you gonna teach something that you don't live? Well, Mario, you don't need to be concerned about the past. You just need to live the word of God. Okay, again, the reason why people don't trust in the church no more is because you wanna preach something to me that you don't live yourself. You wanna preach something to me and I'll catch you at the hotel while I'm at the hotel. <laughs> at the freak nick. At the freak nick, okay. <laughs> Now let's make that make sense now. People are, people are tired and they do not trust anymore. And that and I think that that I, I think that we've made a lot of mistakes. That 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 is the, the biggest problem is we've made a lot of mistakes. We poured out millions and millions into keynote speakers. But then on the other hand, there's a, a bad part about it. I mean, there's still, once again, there's a devil's advocate to it. If somebody didn't say Joel Osteen was going to come and, and be preaching at convocation, a lot of people was not would not come. Because they said Joel Osteen wasn't saved. Well, your pastor ain't saved either. And then they turned around and talked about Joel Osteen like a dog. But in reality, Joel Osteen actually read the Church of God in Christ down in front of y'all faces and then turned then turned around and went back to his multi-billion dollar facility that we need to go and borrow to have convocation. Um, I bet you he's not having to move uh, uh, from a different city to have a convocation uh, that where all the saints fit because uh, they can all fit in his church. They used to be a basketball arena. Um, but like I said, we talked about him like a dog, but in reality, he was actually preaching a, 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 a sound word that I took a lot from. I, that was, let's just, let's just be real. He, he preached a sound word that we all need to, to, to take heed from. And how many years ago was that? And the fact that I still remember exactly what that man preached about. He's a motivational preacher, not a pastor, in my opinion. Well, that, well, well, that pastor is doing better than majority of the pastors that are in the church of God in Christ. Let's just be real. That man, let, let, let's, let me just be real. That motivational speaker has more members that showing up to church faithfully every single Sunday than you have in your choir stand on a weekly basis. So that, mo that motivational speaker is still getting offerings because them, them pilgrims pay their tithes and offerings faithfully. And they're getting help as well. Yeah. Hello. Now, 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 just now, this this may make you sit up and look at me crazy, but I actually had a I had a conversation with Earl Carter yesterday. But, but see now, see now, that's why I'm about to log on off. Uh, you know, no, he, and I, I I told Earl, I told Bishop, I asked him, I said, you know, I wanted him to come on tomorrow with us because I'm like, where do you think the church is going to go? Well, if it was up to Earl Carter, the church will be in hell right now, burning next to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and his mom. Okay. But see, this is what I said to Earl. It was me, Earl, and Gail was on the phone. And I had said to him, I said, what Earl said in the meeting was no different from what Patrick Wooden said two years later. But they didn't say that about Patrick Wooten. Well, no, they did drag Patrick Wooten. 
Who? They dragged him. Who? They, him and his one mic. They dragged him and his one mic. That he his, that he stands up here, uh, uh, uh preaching like he wanted to. Um, uh, uh, he, he irritate. He vexes my spirit too. He he talks too much. He talks too much. Who dragged Patrick Wooten? They, they, it was still. They didn't drag him as bad as Earl Carter, but Earl Carter went too far. Uh, yes, I agree. Earl Carter went too far. What I'm saying is that what Earl Carter did, Earl Carter was instructed to do exactly what he did. And then they okay. act like they didn't know what was going on. Okay, was 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 Bishop um, was was Bishop instructed to give the mic to that flaming sissy? I'm not gay. That was on. that was Porter. He knew better than that foolishness too. But yet, we we forget about that. that and then the Porter that. comes back to Memphis and say he the deliverance preacher. We who you delivered? I mean, to be real with you, I I'm, mean, I'm say this, but Andrew I don't Carwell's care. Andrew still sucking dingling. Are you serious? He ain't no And getting paid. And getting and paid. Getting paid. The man is making more money than me. <laughs> you up here bragging about an ill-informed fool that got up in front of the church and can uh, embarrass the church had the Church of God in Christ all across social media looking a hot mess. And then you sit up right and say, you the deliverance preacher? That is a joke. That's a complete joke. What you mean Andrew is doing what? Andrew is still getting a check. Andrew's still getting a check. If you go, I want right now, if you get on Google and actually Google what his net worth is. Oh no, that's not real. That's not real. I'm still, but he still has, he's still getting paid. He's not a millionaire. Crap. I mean, but he still got paid from it and he's still getting paid. Every single time somebody plays that song, I'm not gay no more. He's getting paid. Who's playing that song? Uh, white folks. That crap. Every remix that them DJs was making, he's getting paid. No, no, no. Oh no. no. Hell no. I'm not doing I no. Mean, you know what? And I tried to I tried to talk to Thaddeus Matthews. Um and he that's okay. That's okay. He gonna cuss the brakes off of this bill. <laughs> but see, Thaddeus Matthews don't like the church of God in Christ either. Huh? Thaddeus Matthews don't like the church of God in Christ either. Oh yeah, no. Nah. He's already said that. Earl Carter uh, and Mr. Earl and Mr. Carter, and Mr. Mr. Fred, I need you to look up something. I want you to look up something called royalties, Mr. Fred. So yeah, he might be begging for money because he wants some more money, but I want you to look up royalties, Mr. Smart Man. Here's the thing. Earl Carter is in the position that he's in is because one, this is not the first time that people in position have used him to do the foolishness. This is not the first time. But Earl Carter took it to the next level. He though. did, yes, he did. Earl Carter. And I, I think, I think, and to be honest with you, I think, as my mama used to tell me, we are our worst enemies. I think he was his own worst enemy, and I think that sometimes less is more, and more, and and, and I feel like he he took, he's his own worst enemy. And then afterwards, he went on his rant against Bishop Blake. That, that right there, that show that you pretty much put the gun to your head. You killed him. He killed his own. But see, he's he mad because he's saying that this could have been handled, which is true. This could have been handled before it got out of hand, which that is true. But see, it Earl could. Carter is just like them. He's old, and they're setting their ways. And Bishop wasn't trying to sit up out here and openly apologize to Earl Carter. He was going to let it, Earl Carter take that fall. But it is still, like I said, I, and I, I get everyone's intent may not be the best intent, but sometimes you got to look out for yourself. And that's the problem. We don't know when to stop and look out for ourselves. Because let's just be real. Bishop had to look out for himself. And he had to look out for the whole church as a whole. So 
on the bit once again bishop blake and that's why it's important that we need to make sure that we're looking after who's going to lead our church in the next in the next in the next season because there's a difference between handling something on a business aspect versus handling something correctly i think bishop blake is a genius businessman genius businessman but when it comes to something of this magnitude of worship and and people well no they didn't bother mother kelly because mother kelly is old she gonna say whatever she want to say no 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 no, no but see it still don't make it right though but see, it that, don't but make see, it right but see notice the difference i'm telling Notice but, the but you got to notice the difference but but you got to notice the difference of how it was reacted afterwards mother kelly did not did not go too far all of them were wrong earl carter patrick Wood, and mother kelly was wrong however and I, can, and I can hear mother kelly now yeah baby i said what i said oh yeah mother kelly don't care i know mother <laughs> and kelly. i'm not taking it back that's my age. but see the thing about it <laughs> is the they panel. used earl carter to do what he did Patrick Wooden got up there and he drug William McCray. He got up there, my, a mother killer that same year, got up there and called it, said, said the book, I ain't calling you no faggot. All kind of stuff like that. Everybody did the same thing, but everybody's reaction was different. Exactly. But and and like and now this is the first thing I am gonna agree with what Fred just said. Kelly, Wooten, Burrell, Carter, yes, they preached the word, but it's the delivery is how you say stuff mm -hmm. i can tell you to go sit down one way and then i can go tell you go set your ass down and there's two different ways no i can say you go sit yourself down in multiple ways in tongues backwards up front and around because i can degrade ways. you and tell you to go sit down somewhere absolutely and earl cart i think you know what because that is what the church talks i think if earl carter you know said it a different way it probably would have but again earl, earl carter and it doesn't make it right earl carter is that old school preacher that gets up and, and this is not this ain't new to earl carter earl carter been talking like this you know what i'm saying earl carter i remember when i was a little boy going to his church in orlando earl carter talked like that on a regular sunday so it, it and, and i i get it but it once again, it's it's that after effect. He went too far. You don't call the presiding bishop uh, all these names. Wait, 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 wait. But Paul, you got Paul, sued. Before he went too far, he did try to make things right. Mm -hmm. He did. But when Bishop rejected him, he went off the deep end. You, you gotta give it some time though, sometimes. Sometimes you got time heals you know take sometimes you're gonna take a l i think i think for earl carter it was just the fact we are totally off subject for the fact that he that. was getting drugged for that and he was not giving he was not giving that come on let's let's just make this right the only person who wanted to get it right was bishop blake and it was shady on bishop blake bishop blake's part it was shady but that's the reason why earl is upset now again how do we gain the trust of the people back because do you honestly trust the church no i'm asking you negros down here in these comments do y'all y'all can hashtag yes or no do y'all honestly trust the church now that you know i there's there are certain but i will say there are certain pastors that are here i'm not gonna drag and say that there's never because like i said there are stand there's there's some awesome preachers there are some awesome pastors that um are out here it's just the fact that you gotta go through hell high water and and move a mountain just to get to the right one and when you find that right one you got to stick with them and it's just finding those right ones is really difficult the someone said hell no <laughs> hell, I, said, I, trust <laughs> I trust jesus i trust jesus somebody said it depends <laughs> what it depend on Robert. and that's another 
and that's another thing you 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 trust in jesus but you also have to trust jesus that that the that the man of the man of god is doing the right thing by the saints the man of god don't roll your eyes said as my mama said one day one day they're gonna get stuck <laughs> or my daddy men do not roll their eyes So that 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 that's the thing. I think because we're gonna do this tomorrow. I think if we really ask the these the, what we saying tonight, see in any of those lives that they've done, they have never talked like this. Oh God bless you, Bishop. Oh we love you, Bishop. Oh God bless God is moving. Ben, I I mean I I think I think that we we have to look at what what each pastor is doing in their home church and um let's get them to do the same thing on the national level they ain't doing nothing in their church lie again they ain't doing nothing in their church i i don't believe that i mean so i mean some some of them are doing good who some some of them have schools some of them we're not talking we're not talking about daniels okay let me tell you something <laughs> daniels will always be fine because daniels is a business man and a church man that understands mm. finance and it understands spirituality these jokers are puppets absolutely they are puppets y'all are there to raise money y'all good preachers let me tell you something and it, and you know i ain't lying when i said this Daniel cannot preach at really at all. I mean, he's he's all right. Give him 20 minutes. He, he can do good in 20 minutes. You no, know, five cogent minutes is all we need. <laughs> give him, give him good 20 five. minutes. Give him good 20 minutes. But Daniel is a person that knows how to get you where you need to get to. Now, don't give him an hour. Give him good 20 minutes. Daniels can get you where you, he's a spirited and he's a businessman. Well, first of all, he ain't gonna stand there for no 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> well, I love my bishop. He ain't gonna stand there for no 20 minutes. <laughs> he just like Rant Allen. And if you pull up a seat, you're gonna be there all night long. Oh, uh, see, that's why we're not gonna pull up a seat, bitch. We need you to go <laughs> hit it and sit down. And praise God. <laughs> but see, just here's right. my thing. Just like with the Catholic Church, I think me being, I, I'm a fourth generation, they need to take on the mindset of rebuilding the trust of the people and building up that bridge again because the bridge has crumbled. The bridge has fallen apart. And ain't nobody trying to walk across no water to try to get to, to you again. P bishops have died in jurisdictions and people are fighting in jurisdictions because they don't want certain folks like right now our bishop here in florida in uh tampa he died a couple weeks couple months ago they still ain't found a pastor yet because everybody fighting you got folks that want to be the pastor of the church and the bishop that don't need to be the pastor or the bishop you got folks right now and i'm gonna say don't don't cover up now don't cover up <laughs> You got folks that's wanting to be the pastor of the church that can't keep a church their own self. Huh? You got folks that want to be the pastor of the church that got multiple current scandals. Don't hide. You may, you may run, but you can't hide, nigga. Uh, and 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 what's the case? Can that's, they spell church now? And but then that goes back into let's get those correct leaders that's gonna give the example of how to have church in in two hours and not eighty hours. Who's gonna get a word across in in two and 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 have service and and who's still able to keep their members? Through Corona, because it's going to be very interesting of how the 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 realignment of churches after we're 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 back out. It's going to be very interesting to see 
the realignment of churches because that's and exactly I, what's and, and this is my question after this is settled down after this corona stuff is settled down how are you gonna bring the people back to the church because i'm gonna tell you right. what's funny what's funny justin y'all are on these see this how god this how god exposed y'all foolishness y'all are online trying to minister to the people and y'all can't even get y'all membership on the line Y'all got 500 people at the church, right? Y'all can't even get 10 folks. No, I'm going to do, do good. Y'all can't get 50 people on y'all live. Because the people see, it, is this really how you minister to us on Sunday? Oh, okay. Fred said, I, I love a reader too. But see, here's the, here's the new thing. Can you captivate me on a lie? Can you keep my attention? See, y'all be too long. Can you keep my attention on a lie? And if you can't do that on a lie, you daggone sure can't do it in church. Someone says, question, who would y'all like to see as presiding bishop for coaching? I already told y'all. I already told you. Who, who do you think? I said early on you was late to church tonight. I'm sorry. I said you know, give I it to Daniels you. for four years, and after Daniels, give it to Sheer. I mean, they've already yeah, lined everything up. They took Mother Rivers down so they can give it to Barbara McCoo. Cool, cool. They, they then they set up here and took they took Rita Walmack down so they can go ahead and give it to uh um Dorinda's, and that was that was discussed over a a, a, a golf course meet. Wait a minute, why are you hiding? <laughs> that was discussed over golf on golf course me. I I would like to answer the question. <laughs> to answer the question, I would like to see, I think, the vision of Daniels uh for presiding bishop to see how he does for four years. And then you know if four years he's done amazing which i don't think he's going to stay because Baby, he's already... they did not like rita walmack because rita walmack had a mouth and she yes no and I love, you got I in her way auntie rita. i love auntie she... rita but they did not want rita because rita would tell you all and they don't they do not like women putting them in their place <sighs> Did I lie? No. No. Now, and then what was funny was, what was funny was, Rita was getting ready to give that position to Ruby Hollins. And before she could even do that, yeah. Before she, hmm. No, I, that's, a, that's a private phone call. <clears throat> and before she could do that, they had already pulled Willie Campbell off, and they pulled Rita Womack off and gave it to Dorinda and gave it because Bishop Blake had promised that position to Barbara McCoo. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. So then as far as the, the music department go, oh honey, I don't know about the odd uh, honey. I don't. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, you will not. First of all, you ain't gonna sit up here and say his health is not gonna allow him to travel when he's been traveling burying every single bishop that has died this past year. The Bishop who's been burying every single bishop been has been Bishop, bishop Daniels. Daniels. So no, his health is just fine. He can he might be able to put a couple of yoo-hoos and a couple of ding dongs and, and sam sandwiches down. And he might, you know, can back away from the table. He's a he he can can he he loves to swim. He loves to do it. Yes, he can do it. Yes, he can. I'm just like Barack Obama. Yes, yes, he can. He can. <laughs> That's the clump. Yes, he can. <laughs> right, just like we talking, just like the clumps. Yes, he can. Well, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I'm still concerned about this music department. Listen, because if I hear great God, great vision, great accomplishments, I'm going to scream. I already told y'all. I I am waiting for the day. I don't care who get over the church. As long as y'all get her up out of there, I am all right. 
<laughs> who is Judah? Oh, I hear. I didn't know who she Jesus. was before Bishop Blake got up in there. Wait a minute. Somebody, wait a minute. Somebody said that's the anthem. No, our anthem is yes. 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 Now, that's our anthem. Yes. Great God, great vision, great accomplishment is not. That is not our anthem. Our anthem is yes. That is not our anthem. Somebody said put Joyce Rogers over. No, she need to stay with the youth. No, like first of all, that is a slap in the face right there. You got a 60-year-old woman as the youth chair lady. Are you freaking kidding me? But okay. Bishop is not okay. You telling me about my own pastor. Stop it. Go to bed. Um ignore Fred. <laughs> Bishop is just fine. He's preaching. He's teaching. He preached. He it's your pastor out. well. He preached. You promise how he danced. Right. He got a pacemaker and outdance every single one of us. Go to and bed. And still work his Fortune 500. Period. <laughs> <laughs> period. <laughs> Wait a minute. As you look, ghetto girls be saying, period. 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 period no, first of all, I got, I got one even better because my cousins and stuff on here. Orlando and Marie, and all my family folks. Are. First of all, because we born and raised here to God of Christ. Um, out of all these bishops, who's a Fortune 500? Uh, I don't think it's Williams, Mr. Fred Godson. Out of all these bishops, who's a Fortune 500? Hmm. Who, who, who has franchises? Who got schools? Who got a bank? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Let, let's back up, let's back up. You said there's a, a word that you put on there. And see, I want you to, I want us to to, to go into the pericope of, of, of what you, the, the text that you just. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pull it down, um, Pull it down. <laughs> uh, you said something, oh, uh, you said something that was plural. Not just one, not two, franchise three schools, three schools, and a YMCA on their campus, and and. Mm, 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 mm. See, here's the thing, y'all. Don't want to make sure this is clear. We are not campaigning for Daniel. I'm not campaigning. We I'm are just campaign. stating I'm the facts. Truth. Facts. These are all facts. We're stating. So, Facts. So, so we 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 the, I, we are sitting here talking, and he's saying, "Well, he's not well. He's not well. Well, he's well enough to bury every single bishop that's died in the past year. He's well enough to 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 still preach and still be in his own pulpit every single Sunday." That part. Right. So I I, I feel like looking into. Um, to answer that question, I think that he will be the the, uh, uh, the best presiding, because let's just be real. Before all these churches started having screens in their church and cameras in their church, Bishop Daniels had screens and cameras in his church, and he still had the baptism pool, so he was still saved. So you, he's had all this, and now they're in, they're de ingressing. Now don't don't. Get me correct. Bishop Porter right now, I ain't gonna lie, that pulpit is hot. I, I, but see, if Bishop, let me tell you something, and I, I don't have an issue with Bishop Porter, let me just state, let me open my eyes and say that. I don't have a problem with Bishop Porter. Bishop Porter is like a short Donald Trump with big eyebrows. And why they say I don't like Bishop Porter? I do not like Bishop Porter. Y'all better go somewhere. Y'all better go somewhere. There. Bishop Porter will be another Donald Trump. He will rule. Lies. Huh? Lies. You say, Lies. You say I'm lying? Fake news. No, seriously. I'm, Fake news. I promise you, Bishop Porter will try to rule with an iron fist, and it will be all about him. I love Bishop. But I'm that, that's just the truth. Bishop Porter is all about Porter. I can tell you that because I was a member of his church. Fake news. We're first of all, let, let let's let's take let let's stop. 
the man's lost his mother. Let's stop. We, listen, we've already covered all that. We we we're not degrading Bishop Porter. We not degrading. We just stating facts. I and I love and but see the thing of it is and then that's once again, once again I'm gonna say this again. This goes right back into it. I can't say. He what, sure did. He created an Andrew mess. Yep. Yeah. And and that right there, that part, the saints have not forgotten about that. And see, that's the thing. Everyone is smiling in that man's face. And no one is being honest with this man and saying, hey, there's a problem here. You you you, you wait. Nobody is, is stopping and saying, hey, we we have not forgotten. So I I and and I'm one and I like I said, I'll sit and tell him, I hey, people have not forgotten. But what I will say is what are you going and this is once again going back into what you were saying i would love to have a forum with all the bishops and actually have that question and ask what are you going to do what is your vision for us in the next four years not only what are you going to do but what are you going to actually implement and exactly. do because this is it's, it's enough of you just saying Oh yeah, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. And then once you get in the position, you don't do it. And then you but then you tell me you're gonna do it, but then the question is gonna be, how are you gonna do it? So here's what you you tell me, okay, we're gonna create a bank. So how are we going to uh wait a minute, I heard I see Valerie and CEO. Uh um what what are they talking about? Um oh, are y'all talking about Valerie Daniels? Yeah, Val Carter? yeah, Valerie is all of all of them Daniels, all of them Daniels. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Val, Val Sips is the only woman, the first African American woman to sit on the board of directors for the Green Bay Packers. She also sits on the board of directors for the Milwaukee. But she's an owner of the Milwaukee Bucks, B and J Industries. If you Google and look it up, you'll find everything that I'm saying is factual. Um, B and J, uh, B and J Industries also owns almost every Burger King. Taco Bell and um, uh, uh, what was that? I think not Dunkin' Donuts. It's one of them. I, you know, I'm a fat kid at heart. They own every single one of them in the city of Milwaukee and around the state of Wisconsin. So yes, they are all, all hundreds of franchises. She is a businesswoman and holiness. I will never forget when she got behind the mic and she said, all women who are sleeping with other people's wives. She said to all husbands who are sleeping with other people's husbands. She also said to all, <laughs> right, <laughs> she said, God is not pleased. That woman can preach. Someone said, I nominate Brian Karn. I mean, oh. <laughs> you know what? Now may the grace of God and the peace of Jesus now rest, rule, and abide. Each and every one of uh, You know what? Here, here's my thing. Justin, here's my thing. If they really want people to help them, hire us. Full time, I promise you. You want people to give you good direction and good guidance? Hire us. Yeah, Valerie Daniels needs to be on the general board, but they don't want women in the pulpit or being pastors. That's another reason why we need. That's another reason. But they want them in their Bishop Daniels. Bishop Daniels is 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 great for the job because Bishop Daniels actually has women pastors in his jurisdiction. Right, Brian Carr ain't even Koji. He tries to sleep with every Koji pastor's wife and, and daughter whenever he comes and to man. the And men. Don't forget the men's. Coronavirus. Here's here's what I'm saying. And we're gonna we gonna we gonna get off here. We're gonna get off here. I feel like if you want You good said Brian Carr and I need protection. He, this is what I'm saying, Justin. If you want people to really help move this church where it needs to be, get the people that's actually caring. Because a lot of these people, and this is real facts, a lot of these people that's getting on these lives with y'all, kissing y'all behind, hey, K, kissing y'all behind and everything like that, they don't care nothing about this church. They only care about these positions. And they, they, and at the end of the day, if, if y'all want to see the church of God in Christ incorporated in 20 years, you're going to have to make change. If you do not make change, I promise you, 
We're going to be just like the PAW in a convention hall somewhere. I mean, aren't we already in a convention hall somewhere? No. I mean, we're still in a... Where are we at? I, mean, I couldn't even drive. Right I couldn't now. even drive on the. I couldn't even drive on the parking lot of, of the Church of God in Christ's uh, property. So, I mean, what? What? Where are we at? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, and I know y'all niggas is watching, and some of y'all gonna watch after the fact because y'all sent this to Bishop Lyles, Bishop Daniels, Bishop Porter. I don't care that y'all have sent this to these people. We are not off brand. We are actually a part of this church and we can, we're concerned about this church, but seemingly the ones that are in position are not concerned. And I know y'all gonna make a live about what we talk about and indirectly try to talk about what we talking about. No, I want them to make a lie. I want them to make a lie because then they might answer the damn question. They're not they're going asked. to answer the questions. Every live, Justin, Every lie that these Negroes have done, they have never answered the question. It was uh, Br Br Brian, Brandon, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the other elders, one of the, our, our, our co-laborers. They on there asking Bishop the same thing that I've been saying, and then none of them answered the question. They was on there with Bishop Daniels. Bishop Daniels did not answer. Now, one of the questions, Bishop Daniels danced around. I'm like, so we just going to act like, where do we go from here? The elephant in the room. Oh, you know, I've been in this church and I've been doing this and I've been doing that. I don't need you to tell me your resume. I need but to you know, know what? what do y'all plan on doing? But you, but, but I will say this, and I'm going to stand in this one now. <clears throat> the main, the one person who I did actually agree with, and I actually did like his response was Bishop Hines. What Bishop Hines said? Bishop Hines did, he touched on a bit of the, the going into the next generation. And once again, Bishop Hines also has been doing this for how long? The man's had a, a, a bank on his campus, ATM in a uh, park. Well, uh, I didn't want to go there. Um, but, <laughs> he, hey, the, man, the man's campus, he's schooling too. So, you know, he, his his responses were were very good, but I would I like see to that. see a little. I would like to see a little bit more in depth. I want to see some conversation. I want to talk. I want you to tell me what are you going to do, what are you going to do with what we have going on right now. How are you going to feed the saints? And 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 I know and I, I can hear Bishop Porter. Oh, I've been feeding the saints every week uh, with my my uh lines of of people who come and pick up food okay no 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 no. i mean spiritually how are you going to feed us how are you going to get us back to where we were because let's just be real well Bishop i don't Shears, want to go back to where no, we were let's just but let's just be real we got a general board members whose child ain't ain't even coaching no more bishop Shears' daughter Come on now, we're not gonna do that to Kiki. No, we're not gonna do that to Kiki. No. We need to figure out why did she leave and get her back. We need to get that back. We need to get these stuff. We need to get. When these did Kiki back. leave? I'm just saying she. You see her more over there at um uh oh uh, uh, what you, at, at they convocation more than you see at all. Who convocation? I've seen her over at uh uh uh, 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 uh what's two hours this way uh. Of Nashville. Um, oh, talking about Zion them? Yes. Gospel? Yes. That was one time. Now, I've seen her more than one time at Full Gospel. You got some on your chin. Get that off your chin. Ooh. Oh, see, you care about me. See, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm the bishop of, the, of your social media. I'm the bishop. I'm Bishop Thank you. King Thank Jazz of the social Thank media. You. Praise God. And she has a husband now, so let's let's get let's get those the stars back. Get the put her over the minister the minister of music. No, no, <laughs> I no and no and all I love Kiki. No, listen, I need well, you know I do want somebody young. <laughs> put her put put her over the youth. She could be the chair lady. 
the chair lady. She can be the chair lady. Fire. And she can preach because Bishop Porter has had and her she preach. she can preach. You know what? Kiki for the national chair lady. There you go. I live. I love it. I Kiki love it. Kiki for the I hey. And she can pray too. Woo. Hold my shot. <laughs> mm. Someone said bring back Professor Iris Stevenson. Listen, y'all put Kiki over the national chair lady. Let me tell you something. That That's going to be something right there. Kiki, I'm, you got the oil. You hear us? We oil. need you. <laughs> you got the oil for it, Kiki. Well, wait, somebody said, no, don't put Kiki. Oh, no, yeah, don't put Kiki over. No, 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 no. No, we need somebody else over the music department. <laughs> no, uh -uh, no. Listen, we need hey. Kiki over the young people's. She need to be a young, she need to be the chair lady. She is in mm -hmm. her 30s like me. Listen here, we can do some things in this church. We are saved, sanctified, sanctified. We are saved, sanctified, and baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, God. Exactly. Yes. Kiki for the National over. Youth Chair Lady. Yes. Because I'm so sick of seeing 80 year old people in camouflage dresses. Y'all can make me the youth chairman. <laughs> okay, now, now, wait a minute now. What you want me Hold to be? Now, now, now um, I don't, we, we, you're going to be the national adjutant because you're going to keep, you're going to keep everything. Straight. No, I, no, I need to be, I need to be over, uh, I need to be PR. That's why I need to be PR. Public relations? Yeah, I need to be public relations. I, I need to do what Bishop Man do. God bless you, everyone. How are you doing? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, excuse me, excuse, you gotta put some bass in the voice for Bishop Man. Hello, you are listening. You are watching the Church of God in Christ and we are here on the Word Network. This great service, I'm standing right next to Bishop Sheer and right that now. that would be a no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a no, no. Uh -uh. God bless you all, how you doing today? We are watching, but, no, no, but we, you know, I I'm gonna tell you something. Who was that young elder? Who was that young elder? Who was doing? Uh, someone said Ricky Dillon. I'm a <laughs> Lord. Um, who is that young elder who was doing a lot of? Are they getting rid of revival? They better not. They That's don't need to. They don't need to. I, you know, I tell you what. Here's my thing. I don't know who that young elder was. I'm gonna tell y'all this right here, and that's this. I'm and I'm being honest. If we got all these people in this church, we need at least. 10% of them people active in this church, actively watching. Because if you can't get them in, if you get this here, if you can't get half a million people to watch your lives, that's a problem. That's a problem. If you, if, as big as we are, or we say that we are, we can't get that many people or a portion of them people to watch the lives, and be concerned about you can't you got 300 people watching Bishop Thuston talking about the chairman of the board. Are you serious? See that that's what I'm gonna come in at. I, I need to figure out who y'all put are y'all we all forget all these secret meetings. I need to know what's going on. I'm like, I own a lot. Turn all the lights on. I ain't know what's going on up in here. Brian Nelson needs to be over the revival. For five or fives. K said the whole church needs to say. Justin, is you sleep? Justin, did he freeze? Exactly. Okay, Justin, I don't know what's going on with your thing. Okay, I don't know what Justin is, y'all. Oh, uh, Robert. Vincent Bohannon ain't even called you. Hold on, what is, um, what is, there you go. Vincent Bohannon ain't even called you. Sorry. Somebody said put Vincent Bohannon over the music department. Vincent Bohannon ain't even called you. 
Uh, Justin does not have an EBT phone. Justin has an iPhone. <laughs> Justin just had a phone call, an important phone call that came in. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. That was business. Some people don't know about that. <clears throat> I'm now, Vincent is a good, a, he can put a good show on and by all means, Revival Fire or, or the, late, the Late Night Musical is definitely going to be slamming with Vincent. But uh, does he even know how to read notes? I, I don't, these are just questions. I don't know. <laughs> you okay? I, I heard you died when someone said Vincent over the music department. I, well, see, here's, here's my thing with that. I have no comment for that right now. I, I mean, we, me and you can talk about that off the line. You probably know where I'm going to go with that, but praise God. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Someone said, I want Charles Hankerson to be over Revival Fires. Uh, they should put <laughs> Jonathan B. Reynolds. Who is Charles Hankerson? I, I don't you mean know Elijah Hankerson? Hankerson? Elijah? And he's already over Revival Fire, isn't he? Is he even a part of our church? Elijah Hankerson? No, I'm talking about this dude asking questions. Fred, Fred is, Fred is down there in Miami. I believe he's Church of God in Christ. So then he would know that Elijah Hankerson is already over Revival Fire because that's the Department of Evangelism. You know what? I, you know, I don't think, I don't think he goes to the meetings. Oh, I want to be at the Ooh, meetings. Oh, see, I wasn't going to say that. Uh-uh, you, you about to get the boot. No, no, no. Who? Who's going to have to get the boot? He said, put Matthew Stevenson over the music department. <laughs> They're going to look like me. Everybody, the, the tenor section, gonna have to, everybody going to have to get a tattoo to get in the choir stand. <laughs> and and we're going to be, and we're going to sing in little shirts. Yes. You know what? I think once they get rid of Judy, all of the old department heads will come back. Ricky Payton, maybe we can get Kim Kim Burrell back, you know. I don't you don't want Kim, Kim back? back? Okay. Hell no. Her attitude is too disgusting. I, I no 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 no. Okay, honestly, let's be honest. I think Kim Burrell got an attitude when Judy got no. in there and started treating people crazy. That's me honestly just talking. No. No, I kind of miss it, seeing Kim. Any any time any time that there that that somebody is afraid to walk up and actually speak to you, there's a problem. Who afraid to speak to uh Leprechaun? I mean, I I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen her at Ruth Kirk Chris, and people. Oh, I don't want to go over there. I'm scared. Honey, I would not you be scared to go over there and talk to a little bit. Well, you ain't you ain't scared to go talk to nobody. You gonna call you? <laughs> you, I, I, yeah, no. See, I, I, I wouldn't be able to sit next to go. You know, we couldn't go out to eat here. Nah, not Raggedy Kim. Oh, you so right. Well, see now, okay, now I would say put Betty Nelson over, but Betty is sick. Uh, li listen, let me, let me, let me stop you right there. Patrick Riddy, Patrick Riddy, Patrick Riddy. Put Patrick Riddy. Uh, how about? Betty, uh, uh, what's his name? Brian Nelson? No, he's he, he's preacher. He's evangelist. Okay, okay, okay. I get, I get that. Patrick Riddick, I can, I can get that. And and just someone say, and you said Betty Nelson. Listen, let me. I love Betty Nelson. No, no, no. I, I said Betty is sick. Don't put her over it. But give me Patrick Riddick. Exactly, because if I, because I, I, I need to hear her give me the somebody tell Riddick! Patrick on this. Riddick! <laughs> I 
I'm telling y'all, y'all, t- y'all tag Patrick. Patrick, listen here. Somebody said June Buff need to be over the music. Let Patrick be over the the, the choirs and stuff. Okay. June Buff. June Buff is same with the, the organ peoples and things. But oh, okay. but 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 the reason why I say Patrick is Patrick Patrick does more than just church stuff. So I know listen, he would I be good Patrick with finances. Reddy. Well, didn't Pat, didn't Patrick Riddick wasn't that him who directed um uh the national um the national uh funeral of uh, uh, the old uh, uh bishop um what's his name um he was the oh god you know I'm horrible with names he was the um he was the adjutant for the longest and died in the pulpit. Uh third third good third good wasn't that Patrick Riddick who was up there directing the heck out of that choir and ripped that Patrick, service I'm t- today. But see, the thing about it is, I I'm saying that because I know I know Patrick personally. I think Patrick okay. Patrick is a people's person, and he's going to make sure that the people get paid, and we're going to have pe- guests come back and feel welcome. See, they didn't fit. Mm-hmm. See, we. I'm gonna tell you what I do know. See, pe- guests that have been coming, they have not felt good about the church of God in Christ because Judy treated them so bad. And people well, I'll I'll never forget they tried to get me they tried to get me off of an elevator because she was coming down the hallway. You got to be you must be smoking bath salt if you think I'm gonna get off an elevator just because she's gonna get on this elevator. You have got no to did, did I oh I told you about the fight that was about to happen at the musical, right? We're gonna let that go. We're gonna let that go. Cause she felt threatened because I was sitting across the the aisle from her. Are you serious? Okay, then we okay. We gonna let that go. I mean, but I would be threatened if you sat across the aisle from me too. Would you now? Because you're black. <laughs> oh god. Somebody said, put Twinkie over the music department. (laughs) Boy, she gonna be shooting all types of snacks at the choir. (laughs) She gonna be shooting, (laughs) she gonna be throwing bags on her plane. Uh (laughs) Is that gum in your mouth? Give it to me. (laughs) Okay, I quit. Okay, listen, tomorrow, tomorrow we are doing the heat show. So y'all make sure y'all, huh? The heat show? Well, okay, so um, my my people are using my platform. It's called the heat show. Oh, they're coming on King Jai's platform. And so we're going to have Bishop David Jordan, Bishop David Jordan and Gail, uh, Sean Gail, are the actual they're over the heat i'm just i'm a friend of the show so they're using my platform and um Ooh, well, who would be the new general secretary i mean who would be the new general of, of women the general supervisor that's a good my, Bob McCoo ain't going nowhere listen if y'all don't put cuckoo down i swear to god Give me Mother Rivers. They belong. No, 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 no. To I do believe that there needs to be a young yes, Valerie Davis. I I can deal with Val. I could deal with Val. She don't play. I need somebody that's young and saved and and that's relatable. That's what I need. Young, saved, and relatable. Young, saved, and relatable. I mean, I don't need oh. I don't need y'all trying to bring in Ty Tribbett, you know, type of move. But I need y'all to be young, saved, and relatable. Somebody said Jackie. I don't know. Uh, that ain't that ain't that ain't scratching my back there. Um, Dale. Dale Jones, I don't have nothing against them. I don't know. 
I oh oh. I don't know who that is. Huh? I don't know who that is. Dale Jones. She's cool. Dale Jones. She is um. She is like Dorinda's okay. protege. Okay. Vanessa Wimbush guy. Yeah. Now I can do Van. Yes. Let's do Vanessa. But that's a safe spot. That's, that's a very safe. Place. safe. Vanessa Wimbush guy. Deep in his safety. Deep in his safety. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a. Uh, I just had a. You know moment. what? I would be with you if you said I, I can see one of the Pace girls but see, here's my thing with, with the Pace sisters and okay, let me take my feelings out of it um, I think I think uh, maybe Leslie would be good working in a department and not just, to, no, no, not Mother Frances, no um, because as far as putting one of them in position they've never had a chance Vanessa is a safe spot. The Pace girls have never had a chance. So I think if you got Leslie, I think that'd be good. Leslie would be a good spot. But, but, ooh, Mother Francis, we ain't gonna have no women in the church. Lord Jesus. Oh, you was joking? Okay, well, never mind. Oh, Robert <laughs> said no for Leslie. Okay, y'all said no. Okay. Mother Kelly beat them, beat up all the women in the church. <laughs> she be the told <laughs> you, you dress like a hooker. Don't come back. <laughs> You've been around them fags too long. <laughs> Listen here, all this fag Even walking like stuff, down. Y'all gotta get out of here with that. I'm serious. Y'all gonna have to go with that. Seriously, because this generation of people, they're gonna whoop you up in the church. And and you're gonna need them adjutants. You're gonna get whooped gonna up in the church. Adjutants. You're gonna need the adjutant brothers to come and pull you. Cynthia, they out. we need they to they talk. talk. Cause we need to, we need to put out some publications. You are absolutely right. Cause ain't nobody. Cause hands hands nowadays are are are, are saved as well. Cynthia, send this to the news station. Tell the news station we got young people that's covering what's gonna happen to the church of God. Hey, what's gonna happen to the church of God in Christ? They need some young faces. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause I and you know what? And I ain't gonna lie to you. I and I would who. Who would you leave? I would leave Ben Stevens over to you. If it wasn't for the fact that I do know who Ben Stevenson was, I would say, oh, okay. What does Ben Stevenson do? He's a pastor. What does Ben Stevenson do? He's a pastor. I'm gonna say one, maybe, maybe to hear me clear. What does Ben Stevenson do? for the people okay now that i will be honest with you i i'm i'm now back to devil's advocate ben stevens gave out two thousand pairs of shoes to needy kids in the city of grandview in the city of kansas city the man is rebuilding a church that had dwindled down from over what five thousand people down to 500 and now they're back up to a thousand people. So I, 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 the man is, you gotta know what's going on now with this man. The man is on fire. I, I, I think that just, if you take the cuffs off sometimes, because I do believe the cuffs are on. I, okay, okay, okay. Cleveland, I, I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree. I do like green. Green is a sheared boy. Green is a sheared boy. Green is a sheared boy. I do like green. Green, uh, if, if, if he could stop with the preacher voice and be regular, I like green. I, oh, come on. Every pastor got to have that that anointing, that anointed feather voice. Come on, every pastor. The anointing have feather it. voice? Yes, the anointing feather voice. That feather that Mother Killer talking about? Okay, so I like I like Nathaniel. And 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 Nathaniel Green is an assistant and he should stay an assistant right okay, now. Okay, Micah Young. Micaiah. 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 Sorry. It's a no for me, bro. I didn't say yes. I'm just like 
he, 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 some growth. I just think a lot of these people are here because they, they know somebody who knows somebody. That's, that's what, that's what it is. I mean, but that's how the world works. But you ain't got no works. But that's how the world works. I mean, you, you and I both know that's how the world works. I mean, look at, look, look, if it wasn't for, look, look at the president of the United States. Half of the people that go into their cabinet is people that they know, people that they're comfortable with, people that they know that's going to well, do the job. Well, look at the current president. He's got good people in there. It, and see, that's what happens when we, that's what happens when the saints, well. When the saints begin to pray and the Lord has his way. See, you took the words out of my mouth because I was about to start singing it. <laughs> coming down, 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 coming down. And that's it. Quali when you have qualified, and there's another word that's in qualified that everyone keeps just keep moving over. Quality. Spirit of the Lord is coming down. You qualify people who are of quality to do the job. And we had to go through four years. And we had to go through four years of foolishness and firing every single week and, and fake news for us to real realize. I wish he'd stop singing. I wish Linwood would stop singing. That voice is. You wish who? Linwood would stop singing. State of preaching. I, I, I play, I literally was driving to Milwaukee listening Somebody to Somebody said, we're going wife. on a ride in our Kojic church for this election. <laughs> well, it's going to be a bumpy ride because there's so many potholes in uh, Memphis. We're going to need some backup tires. We're also going to need some, um, some new struts. We're going to need some new... Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need some new shots. Now we're not gonna do I mean although Memphis is bad. Yes, Saints, it's offering time. Who's gonna start the offering off with a hundred dollars? Go hit that cash up. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, they clear now. Look at God. Woo. You know it's bathroom time. You know, you know every time you gotta put that finger up and head over to the bathroom real quick and <laughs> ease out the choir stand real quick and Right, fact, don't, don't do my city like that. Although oh, Memphis do have that. potholes now, that's my city. Them yeah. ain't potholes. Them just like what? 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 what them. <laughs> okay. Them so wait, wait, wait. Somebody said Portico crazy. had it. Listen, let me tell you something. I have lived in Memphis for God knows how long. They have been fixing potholes since I've been in the city. They fix them and the potholes come right back. They need to fix the roads. Period. I'm gonna tell you why. And I and the reason I, I'm gonna tell you I live an hour away from it, and I I noticed what they do. Instead, they do just like the church folks do, because I feel like I feel a sermon coming on. We don't dig up. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Please get get it going. We don't dig. We don't dig up the ground. Sometimes you gotta go back to your roots. You gotta start all the way over. They don't dig all the way down. Get rid of all the old stuff and all the old mess that, that's going on in, in, in the streets. What they do is they take pavement and they just put it right over and they hide. It. And what happens is, through life, the bumps and roads and through, through as many cars that just keeps going through, keeps coming, it just keeps making them potholes right back where the potholes used to be. And the ground just makes them bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's a, just a patch up. That's exactly the problem. We need to dig up the ground and re-put <laughs> pavement down correctly. The same thing goes for the Church of God in Christ. Somebody gave $5. We, dollars. we sure appreciate your $5. Thank God. <laughs> <'cause he don't laughs> uh, well, here's my offering from the supervisors. <laughs> you got your boosters <laughs> from the supervisor as the as the administrative assistant. Here's my from the rest of the administrative assistant. Here's a gift from the rest of us. I'm telling you, they, they, they need to put me put me over position. I promise you, I'll make sure. This, I listen. I promise you, put 
I'm gonna be in the meeting with all of everybody. I got something to say. Got something to say. Don't don't act like I'm gonna be a loose cannon. No, I got something to say. Cause y'all around here with these shoddy meetings in Canon, act like y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all know the Saints is tired and frustrated, and y'all back. I'm running for board money. of business. I'm running for board. Of, matter of fact, I'm running for chairman of the general. Assembly. I need to be assistant. I'm running for the chairman. Yes, Providence sent her five dollars. We thank you, Providence Mahari, for sending your five dollars. Thank God for you. Who else got a boost on tonight? Who in the hell just put there's going to be more trans on the pulpit this year? What? This this is holiness, Robert. This is the church. Just this is the just church. Leave it alone. Let, let it go. Let it go. This is the church of God in Christ. Let it go. Let the church of hey, the church of God. Hey, let it go. Okay, okay. All right, rescue. I said, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I hope the church doesn't take that turn. I pray that don't take that turn either. We already got trans in the church. What you talking about? Oh, I did. Yeah. I mean, but that. Once again, there's nothing wrong. And we don't even the know it. Says, the Bible. Exactly. That's the sad part. I, I, don't, Bible, Bible so here's the, I don't care about that. This is God's that's, house. That's, hey. a different, that's a different topic. That's a different topic. We're going to leave that Let alone. That, that's why I said leave it alone. That's leave it alone. Topic. Please, that's a whole different topic. But not on the pulpit. You show, I mean, but some of you pulpit conductors like sleeping with them. So y'all need to stop. So we're going to stop that. We're gonna stop that. We ain't gonna go there. We well, now, 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 now. I ain't. Well, now. well, 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 folks, well. Folks need to worry about what's between their legs. Yes, they own legs. One got married to a I know a reformation. I know a reformation that has a transfer supervisor. Okay. Did I told um, you to leave it alone. Hold on. I'm am I reading this right? Oh, uh, Evangelist Tony, thank you so much for your $50. We praise God for that. Wow, 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 wow. That part. What? They own legs. That's exactly what, if we, if we start worrying about what's going on in our own house, we, we 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 won't worry about what's going on in other listen, people's houses. Because while y'all like worried about what's going on in other people's houses, y'all children is down here sucking what's in between other people's legs. So let let's 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 let in your daughters and your sons. So let's not be worried about other people's business and what other people's are doing. Let's let's only worry about uh, what we're doing. And God bless you. And let's take care of our own houses and get our own houses in order. And, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna tell you, uh, 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 Justin. I'm gonna tell you like this. And and this is this is the truth. If we live uh -huh. the life that we preach about, if we live the life that we preach about, and the spirit of God is exemplified through our life, if there is something wrong with somebody, God is able to do the change of whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And I, I really do mean that. If God be God, if there is something wrong with somebody. God is able to be God and bring about deliverance with anybody. I don't care who it is. Absolutely. If you feel the homosexual is wrong, give it to God. Don't make that your and don't that, make that, that your focus of praying. And that's between and that's between you and God. And see, that's the problem is everyone is too worried about other people and not worried about their own selves. But let's just be real. Let let I, let you know why you worried about someone else. I do not want to see any openly gay lesbian in the church. Mason would really frown. Ooh, hold on. Okay. Let me stop you right here, brother. Brother, man, while you hollering. That let you it go. Know, you know, gay, let it go. Openly gay. No, 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 no. I, no. Don't, don't feed into it. Let it go. If I see a man with a hat on like this sitting in front of me and I can't sit around, I can't see around you, there's a problem. Let, let let it go. And you act like you don't see it? I'm going to tell you like this right here. Let it go. Let it go. 
Because people have an issue with me. Hey, but you know what? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Mr. Carlos Tillman, go ahead and send that, please. What happened? <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, we don't. We, no, no, no. Don't put it back in your pocket. Don't fold it back up. We don't do folded up money. We take. We, we, we don't. We don't. We we like the money that 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 waves. And we praise God. We thank you. Praise God. Praise God. No, but seriously, I feel like this. While we see that is our problem with our church. That's our problem. We do things behind closed doors, and then we. That's the reason why we have mental. See, we gonna go all off topic now. We. It's what time is it? It's ten forty three. We have mental illness in our church because we confuse people. We preach against homosexuals, but you're sleeping with the homosexuals. You preach against lesbians, but y'all women is sleeping with the lesbians. Y'all men out here making y'all pedophiles. And then y'all want to preach this stuff up in the pulpit. Y'all beating your wives and can't on. Everybody needs to come to the altar. Okay. Don't, don't, don't see, that's not even a question of O.C. Allen coming to the coach. First of all, why are you offended by a, why, why are you, are you offended by a gay? That, right, why, are why are you, are you so offended? offended? Why why that that is kind of that that's just <laughs> first of all. <laughs> why are y'all offended by gay? But you know what? But you know what? And, and but I'm gonna end that I'm gonna end this right now real quick, real fast in a hurry. But I bet you his convocation is packing out churches. No, actually, it's not. It's not no, no more. No, because there's been so much stuff that's going on within his organization. Like people have left now. Again, and I said this a long time ago. But it was it at was one point because it was it was that thing to do. But again, when you allow so much stuff to go on for so long, then the people start losing the respect because it's not like church anymore. It's a social gathering, and everybody coming in just to, you know. Well, I think that that's once again why why a lot of the the a lot of the let's just be real. That's the reason why the convocations have fallen short now, as of right now, because it's it's lost it's lost that holiness. It's lost that 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 feeling. And and I'm gonna say it just like this: if this is God's house. If this is God's house, there needs to be a presence in God's house that you have the fear of God. See, we lost the fear of God. If you got the fear of God in you, it's certain things that you would be too scared to do. Like me personally, I'm not going to sit out here and entertain a whole sexual conversation on the phone with somebody while I'm sitting up in church. They be in church. They just be on jacked in church at the come. <laughs> what the heck? I, I, I'm gonna tell you something. When I'm at church, when I'm at church, Justin, I don't care regardless of what I told people about my sexual. When I'm at church, I want to feel the presence of God. That's what I want to feel, and we have lost it. We have lost the presence. I want to feel, I go to convocation, I don't feel the presence of God. I don't. It's a whole fashion show. Y'all want to see how big the next <laughs> nigga brooch is going to be. <laughs> Somebody said it's going to say, Bzz, Bzz, Bzz. <laughs> right. <laughs> that part. <laughs> listen, I listen, I really, I really want the church to be the church again. And I don't care what your background is or your origin is. I want when you come to church, you leave different than when you came. That's what I want. I will leave here like I came in Jesus' name. Battered and broken. Some in the name. You won't leave me like you came in Jesus' name. You won't leave me like you came in Jesus' name. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 
Sorry, I had to bring it back. I had to bring it back for a second. Oh. <laughs> we just went. I need you to go let that fine beat. Come on, go get your eye. Come here. Come here. Come here, friend. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I had to leave that alone. Ooh. I'm going to pop your butt now. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody said the pass was going to be 0, 0.0 miles. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Somebody said anthem time. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said anthem time. Great God. Uh oh. -uh. No, 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 no. Great oh, God. Skin look all nice on you. <laughs> oh. He reigned with wisdom and power. No. Glad you're here to break. Come on, bring it along. Bring, bring it along. Got some good to me. Everybody can see. Hallelujah. 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 No, Robert, I'm not mailing you my pen. You got enough pens in your house already. <laughs> I need to say this for that's complication. Not a, that's not a pen, Doc. That's a brooch. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 you done good. You took that from your grandmama. That's her. No, actually, I actually got this from the. Um, I forgot where I got it from. You know, that's something that I, 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 I deal with my grandmother, my great grandmother's earrings. Is I trying to take them in the, and turn them into pins? What? Okay, see, but okay. I want y'all to understand something. Let me, let me, let me sit up for this one. I want y'all to understand something. That is, it's not just that, okay? Like, y'all act like gay folks are the only folks who come to convocation. Do y'all know, not know it's straight folks that be up there screwing too? Hello, I've heard it in the next hotel room. And I've been it when because I, I would stay at the Hyatt. Baby, all I heard was, oh, yes, daddy. Oh, knock it off, daddy. Yes. You, we, we, oh, yes. We, 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 we hear them headboards knocking. Huh? Just because they turn a little, uh, just because they turn on them last two dollars, the little music. <laughs> listen, I listen. I'll be up there on the fifteenth floor at the Hyatt Hotel, and all I hear is is the man. Yeah. <laughs> and she be like, Oh, oh, Hallelujah! Hit it hard, buddy. Yes. Wait a minute. If we be just getting in the room, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I know you lie. <laughs> oh, and my mother and my mother Francis Kelly voice. There's only two things that go on at this time of night. Three things. Revival fire, legs, and a gas station. That's the only three things. That's the only thing, three things that's open at that time. Of night. <laughs> Which ones are Wait a minute. But well, what's food? funny is What's funny is that I okay, I can't even call I can't even say the department that they're in because I give it away. But it was a a department head. I it is before they got married to the new wife. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was on the hotel with him. I mean on the hotel elevator with him. And I was like, where y'all going? What? Well, at least, at least they married. Now. Great God. Great vision. Great oh, I got them glasses, too. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old. I got to have multiple pairs of glasses now. Oh, here you go. Oh, that's the mission. Oh, that's creation. So anyways, are you going to be a part of the show tomorrow? <laughs> sure. What time? I think we're doing the show at uh 7.30. At 7.30? Is that CP color people no, time? No, that, that's 7.30 because when I start my show, y'all know I do the three-minute countdown. So it said it's time to retire that song. Yes, it is. Yes. I need y'all. Let's go. That's that wonderful name of just like I'm ready for that to retire, that every praise team needs to leave that alone. Every praise team needs to let go of um, 
Yeah, yeah. You thought I was worth saving. Uh -uh, let it go. Let it go, Doctor. Let that song go. Let it go. Well, listen, let it go. Oh, I look so good. Now, now that detox is doing a number for me. Thank you, Lord. What, what year was, was that you heard the knocking? I don't remember song? what year that was. Somebody rocking, knocking in books. All night long. <laughs> Ooh, I, oh, I'm showing my age. For me knowing that. Robert said, I'll be on my knees praying to <laughs> Hallelujah. Every year I hear knocking. You show sure right. Every, I'm telling you, every year I went, I heard knocking. <laughs> I mean. I mean, and 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 they be knocking hard. Listen. That's all right. Ne next next time we're gonna <laughs> we go call uh, God bless you. Yes. They gonna need a pair of Megs to come get them out the way. Let me tell you something. Now they put me on any type of position. I'm gonna have to have a security guard. <laughs> Can somebody walk me to the service, please? I told you, just give me, give me the general assembly. That's all I need. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, Robert, I'll, rules I'll, I'll make sure that the announcers are. You know what? Ooh, I could do the announcements. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, I was so good at that. Yeah. Honey, baby, I tear them folks up. Honey, y'all want some announcements? We're going to have a praise break during the announcements. Honey, y'all caught Judy get up there with that old sock. sock. I'm going to grab that microphone. Come on, let's give God a good praise. And that's what I'm just going to say. Come on, um, musicians. <clears throat> we going to wet the, the atmosphere say, up in um, here. I'm just going to snatch the mic and say, as a request from the family, you have been asked <laughs> not to sing. <laughs> You've been asked not to sing no more at the convocation. God bless you. At the request of the All right, let me tell you something. If I have to get up family. after Judy McCallum said, Kino, babe, I'm a good microphone. I'm going to wake the saints up. Come on, saints. Clap your hands and let's give the God up that we serve a good praise. Oh, y'all quiet up in here. But choir, I need you to get on your feet. No, I'm right. <laughs> I mean that 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 horn that horn irritates me. I'm, I'm gonna need Robert Enoch to be over in that organ, baby. I'll need you to tune me up, tune me up, tune me up. <laughs> Somebody said you go get that good old Nathan. <laughs> baby, I'm saying if I can get up behind you, I'm at I am proud. I am proud. We are sick and tired of you singing that same old song, the same old song every single week. Every single week. Ba, 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 great God, great vision, da, great prophecy. He ran for wisdom. Say something else. Let someone How else get up and sing. We don't, we don't want to hear from the Clark sisters. We hear them in every single song. We hear them every single time. We don't want to hear none of that. Get, let someone else get the mic. There's somebody else who can sing better than that. Do better. Do better. Get rid of the horn. You show right. And that funky box she keeps bringing that 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 thing that's no. falling apart that she got there from go. Juanita Bynum and she needs to put that right with them sheets in the trash no more all right saints Lord and then she really thought that she was acting as if that box was really the the Ark of the Covenant Oh, move out the way! Move out the way! Here comes the ark! Here comes the ark! Listen, your wig gonna be in there in that box if you don't, get, if you, if you don't stop it. No more box, right? <laughs> Ooh, right we we do need trying. some more. We need, we need some save. We need some people save like Nathaniel Simmons. No, I, no I'm, I'm good on I'm good. I love Nathan Simmons, but I don't want to be in church until Jesus comes back. I was just that reading man something. Preach, that man would preach, 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 preach some more, preach some more, preach some more, preach some more, preach some more. Hell, we he gonna preach us all to heaven. We all gonna he gonna preach us all right there. So are we good, John, my pastor? Um, he would clean the, yeah, he would. Are we good on tonight, Saints? Yeah, we covered a lot of stuff on tonight. We did. Mm. 
people I need to buy them, Lord Jesus. Ugh. I asked, okay. Do you be watching? Do you watch no. her still? She, she's a. No. She's um, a piece of work, so no. Oh, God. I had to take her off of my. I, I used to pay attention to her, but. And it'd be weird. Like, I would wake up like at three o'clock in the morning and she would be live. And I'm like, okay, sweetheart, do you have a husband? Or, or did she don't. beat you up to And if she did, you, she, you know what? I would say she need a man, but she needs some, she need, shut up, Mario. Shut up, shut up, shut up. She needs some but strong, she, she, act like, she needs some strong arms. She, she, act, they, like, she act like some, she act like there's something wrong with her. They're, they're, I mean, how you gonna get upset because somebody walked in a hotel room and saw your panties? Now wait a minute. No, 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 no. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We done. All right, we done. We done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, we done with the lesbo. Next. Okay. So thanks, thanks, and friends. Thank y'all so much for being on tonight. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys have shared tonight's live because uh, the bishops, them, they need to hear this. We've had fun and we've enjoyed ourselves. Thank y'all uh, to my wonderful, illustrious friend. Thank you so much for being on. You ain't gotta look like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, we are saved over here. Sanctify. We are saved Holy over Ghost here. Yes. Glory. Somebody said y'all missing these comments. They always, they always mess in the comments. Come on, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't mess. Come on now. Uh, somebody said you need to be on the four kings. <laughs> oh. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't mess. Come on now. Y'all still going to invite Joel Osteen? Yes, Joel Osteen can come back and read the Church of God in Christ anytime. And leave a fat check. Because we need it in these parts. We need it, we need it, we need it, we need it. Next convocation, officials will have their own separate hotel. <laughs> we all going to be at the Holiday Inn Express. Hotel, Lord, hotel, 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 holiday. Stay what? Yes, you know what, Justin, you, do you want to be one of the four kings? Sure, I'll be one of the four kings. That, I'll bring, the, I'll bring the, fa the frankincense, you bring the myrrh. Jesus is born. No, we're talking about the show on Friday. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. What time John is Gray don't need to come nowhere near the convocation well yes he needs to come to the convocation hall so that we can fit him for a fitted suit because them little old ass suits he be wearing is murdering me i told you look you like know, Gru. no no you know what i'm i'm gonna talk to him for for the big men the men with titties you I, I, yes i'm gonna speak on that i'm gonna talk about that no we need, I'm going to write a book. That is against the Bible. That's against the law for his suits to be so small. His suits need to be, they need to fit. That man's suits be little. I, they little. And he, uh, his, uh, his Avenger. <laughs> his Avenger um, uh, Shrek. No, I <laughs> let me stop before she get on live trying to check, and I'll have to get her together. Cause I mean, no, they act like she she act like she breastfeeding him. I I don't understand it. All right, we going we we going. So you wear a onesie as a suit. <laughs> so he got skinny. <laughs> he, he do. He look like Shrek. He do. He built like Shrek, and his wife looked like Shrek. He built like it, and she looked like it. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Somebody said she pegging him. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, y'all. Listen, tonight has been fun. Yes, Justin, it's your bedtime. <laughs> I'm going to call you when I get off here. Oh, my God. No. Somebody said he built like a bubblegum machine. No. Y'all, this has been fun. We gonna, y'all make sure y'all come back tomorrow so we can uh, we gonna have the heat show tomorrow. Bye. That's her. That's her super. Bye.